All right, welcome back. Good morning. Meteorologist Dan Maranti here. Let's keep you up to date with the forecast. And I mean, you don't need a meteorologist to tell you it's been an extremely dry stretch of weather here. The last several months we have just seen little to no rainfall. We need a lot of rainfall. And so far this year, we're 10.3 inches in a rain deficit going back to the start of the year. So 2020 has been a very warm year and our fourth driest on record. And because of that, we have a drought across much of the state, a severe drought into northern and eastern Connecticut and uh, most of the state, the uh, vast majority of us in abnormally dry conditions or that moderate to severe drought. So the drop, U.S. Drought Monitor will be issuing another update uh, in the next couple of hours, right around like 830 is when they usually do it. Every Thursday morning they issue that drought update and I anticipate we'll probably expand some of our drought across the state. So once again, we really need that rainfall. Now the next few days, we won't be seeing a lot of it. Temperatures into 50s to around 60 degrees in a lot of spots, some mid 60s across parts of the shoreline and dry conditions during the day today, which is just more of the same. Not much going on out there. A few clouds starting to arrive from uh, from the west. And as we go on through the day, we'll see a couple of those clouds filtering in, especially later in the day. I think there may be a period of time around like four or five, six o'clock towards dinner time or so when the clouds will really start to take over. So maybe a mostly cloudy sky by that point. And the heavy rain continues down in the south. These are the remnants of what was formerly Hurricane Sally. Still a, a remnant low pressure system bringing some extremely heavy downpours to portions of Georgia into South Carolina and North Carolina. And that rain, the bulk of it anyways, will kind of slice right through the northern portions of South Carolina into central North Carolina and then eventually into Virginia. But that stays down to our south and stays away from us. Look at that. Uh, most of that rain staying way down in the mid-Atlantic and into the Carolinas. So for us, we don't really get anything at all. So once again, that drought continues. Here's what we have as we go on through the day today. Partly cloudy skies overall, but there will be times where the clouds really do tend to take over. So we'll call it partly to mostly cloudy maybe throughout the day, but still not a bad day. There will be a little bit of hazy sunshine in there. Of course, the haze in the sky from the smoke from the, the wildfires out west. Some of that has made its way here throughout the course of this week. And uh, as we go on through the day today, we may still see some of that sun. And today will be the warmest day of the week. Temperatures around 75 to 80. So it is going to be a little bit of a warmer day. That should be a little bit of a, you know, a welcome feel to some people. And I'd like the warmer weather, so I'll, I'll take it uh, when it starts to get cold. I just don't like to shiver. I don't want to be cold. And I think some people at least agree with me, although a lot of people have been looking for more comfortable weather and we've had it really much of this week. Temperatures staying in the 60s and 70s, so no real sweltering heat at all. Mostly cloudy skies tonight. There could be a couple of showers kind of scattered across the area, as I said, uh, but not much. I mean, look at this uh, once again. The drought continues by tomorrow morning. We start off with a lot of cloud cover. Then we start to clear things out during the day and it leads to a beautiful weekend. Temperatures throughout the course of the weekend into the 60s. A lot of sunshine, no chance for rain both of these days. And then by uh, Monday, keeping temperatures in the mid 60s with sunshine, a little bit warmer for the beginning to the middle of next week. As we head towards Tuesday, that's the autumnal equinox, which is the official start of fall. So we'll be keeping an eye on that forecast really close. We'll have another update and a look at the tropics coming up in a few minutes as well. Keith, We'll send it back to you.